My name is Nikki. I'm an English makeup artist and I live with Carlo and our daughter Sky in Positano, Italy. Our house is far from the road but surrounded by fruit trees and olive groves and we grow our own food. We'll show you what it's really like to live on the Amalfi Coast. Subscribe and welcome to the Positano Diaries. Good morning. I am on my way down to Carlo's parents' house with eggs and it's Father's Day today. So I'm just gonna go down and wish Carlo's father happy Father's Day. It is also San Giuseppe. So I'm gonna wish happy San Giuseppe to Giuseppe, Carlo's brother. And um, just hang around there for a few hours this morning. If you follow me on Instagram stories, you would have seen that I received two big boxes of tea because I was running out of tea recently and because of Brexit and everything it's not as simple as it used to be to get things delivered from the UK. Skye had a pair of Invisalign braces sent out by her dentist on the 9th of January and they got held in customs for over six weeks which has never happened before so this is obviously something new that's happening and she only got them about three days ago so it took from the 9th of January until the I think she got them on the 16th of March. If you follow me on Instagram stories, you would have seen the other day that we received a box with two big packets, two big boxes of tea bags. And this big box sat there for three days on the, on the chair and nobody opened it because nobody claimed it. Everyone kept saying, well, I haven't ordered anything. I haven't ordered anything. And um, eventually we opened it. We had no idea who they were from. And then I looked closer at the address and I saw that the word Italy was written in what I thought was Swedish, Italian. And I presumed it was my friend Annika who lives in Sweden. So I thanked her and she came back to me and said, it wasn't me. And then somebody suggested that the word for Italy is the same in German as well. I should have known that. And, uh, but I don't know anybody in Germany, so that didn't help. And eventually I figured out, hang on, wait, this has got my address in it. I never give out my address. It's got to be my dad. So I called him up and yes, he'd sent me tea from Amazon in Germany because it avoided the customs fees, which we're now getting on anything sent from the UK. So um, up until Brexit happened, I could quite happily order in anything, food, makeup, clothes, whatever I wanted from the UK. And within a few days I'd have it. Now that's not the case anymore. Unfortunately, everything's being held up in customs and anything that you buy is subject to a heavy customs fee, usually around 30, uh, 30 to 50 euro. So that's why I don't, except when anybody offers to send me stuff, I say, please don't, it would bankrupt me. Um, so dad managed to find his way around it by ordering from Amazon Germany, which is great. So I've got tea bags. I think that was the whole point of this story. A row of fava beans. And then there's a little bit of everything here. There's some beautiful freesias out at the moment. They smell absolutely lovely. You would have seen us choosing a pumpkin from Zio Giovanni's pumpkin store the other day. What I didn't realise was that he's got a whole load more here. Look at the pumpkins. Zio Giovanni is full of surprises, no? You can never know what else he has done. Zio Giovanni has chickens too. He's got lots more than we do. Hello, chickies. And where there's chickens at Zio Giovanni's, there's always a tortoise. Now, it might actually not be alive anymore, or it might be hibernating. Ah, ecco questo l'ho testo. Nascosto. Sto vi guardando di culo. Non l'avevo realizzato, non si vede niente. Hello, little one. Questo è vecchissimo, ce l'ha, non lo so, 30 anni. Mi ricordo avevo 20 anni e già stava qua. Sì. Sì, è sempre lei, non penso che non ho preso un'altra. Si sa, le tartarughe vivono tanto. Oh. 
Mettiamo la terra, deve stare. Wander around Zia Giovanni's garden. I can see there's a little tree in blossom there. How pretty is that? Unfortunately, I'm not sure what it is. I know it's not apricot or plum. Okay, I'm now in the cemetery trying to find Carlo, trying to get Holly to show me the way. She is currently leading me all the way up to the very top of the cemetery, so she better be right. <laughs> Where are you taking me, you horrid dog? Thank you, Holly, for bringing me all the way up here, but I can see that Daddy is down there. Stupid doggy. And the amateur. You coming with me or are you staying with Daddy? I'm going home. Back home. And it's just starting to rain. I'm gonna go and cook some lunch. I am making pasta and I'm doing a sauce with zucchini, garlic, chilli pepper and these are totani, also known as flying squid. So I'm just going to chop those up and in a tomato sauce. I cut my hair the other day and I did it all by myself and I filmed it but I'm going to show it to you quite quick because it obviously took me 15 minutes to cut my hair and you don't want to sit through all that so I'm just gonna show you a quick video of what I did and I am now going to cut my hair by myself with a razor this could go horribly wrong but I haven't had my hair cut since September That looks actually okay, I don't need to do that. So I'm going to start here. I would like to make it clear that this is not a tutorial. This is me risking it big time. Uh, just so that you know, I did do a year of hairdressing school, so I have a vague idea of what I'm doing but I am by no means an expert. Now, I recently took a fringe cutting class from Jane Matthews at Edo Salon. I'll leave the links in the description box below. And I spent quite a long time on YouTube looking at tutorials of how to layer long hair. So I basically put all that knowledge together and just risked it. And luckily for me, it worked, but I do not recommend that you copy me in any way whatsoever because I do not want to be responsible for anybody else's haircut. Also, you might want to know how I style it. I wash my hair with New Wash, which is 
um, what Jane Matthews recommends. So you can look on her website for more details of that. And I put a little bit of hair balm in it and I dry it with a diffuser and pretty much leave it to air dry the rest of the time. That's all I do. I don't do anything. Let's say I'm lucky. I'm gonna go dry it and let's see what it looks like. Well, I would say that it worked. I've just cut my own hair. It's gonna save a lot of money. Sorry, Caroline. <laughs> in the morning. They're so noisy. You've been fed. Be quiet. What can we give them? Let's give them the remains of this, which they have already chewed. God, anyone would think you were starving. Look at you. They just want attention. Going out for a little walk with Holly. Hello, Zilla. Up we come. <laughs> Aren't you beautiful? I'm just going to stop while I talk to you, otherwise I will probably fall head over heels. Oh, go away. Seriously? Okay. Yes, we are in red zone at the moment. I've had a few people ask, but it seems to be a different type of red zone from last year. Last year when we literally weren't allowed more than 200 metres from our front door. They seem to be a little more lax about letting us go for walks. Yesterday I went for a walk around the road down in Positano and there was quite a few other people doing that. So I'm going to go for a walk with Holly. I've got my mask, I'm going to put it on if I see anybody coming close and just see how it goes. It is finally warming up here. We had a cold week last week. It went down to four degrees the other day and we were back in our winter coats and sweaters and stuff and suddenly yesterday it's turned into proper spring. Actually, I know that the Paradise Bar on the beach is doing exporto. That's not the right word in English, is it? Um, Takeaway. They are, they, as they did at Christmas, they're Christmas cakes. Uh, now they're doing Easter cakes. So they're doing Colombo and Pastiera. And they're doing them to take out. So I could feasibly go down to the Paradise Bar and buy a cake. Shall we do that? I can see Carlo. Hi, Chrissy. There he is. <laughs> Busy at work. I don't want to make any promises, but if I'm walking back up, if I'm walking back up again afterwards, we will stop off and see Carlo because I know you all like to say hello to him. Yeah, unfortunately, he works most days, so that's why he's not been in the video so much lately. My neighbour's dog, Whiskey, has appeared and is coming with us. So I've just been at the Paradise Bar and Gaspada, who works there, has just told me that today they are just about to start making the pastiera. And he's very kindly said that I can go into the kitchen and we can watch them making the traditional Easter pastiera, which is the traditional Easter cake made with grain, grains of wheat. Wheat? Yeah, I think so. I'll check on that. Have it. Wheat, grains, grano. I'll check on that. <laughs> I am in the kitchen of the Abokadi Bakov. Lucy's here too. And we are going to follow Chef Josue as he makes pastiera, the traditional Italian Easter cake. Well, we start with the thing, and I don't know what we're going to make. Josue is the master chef of the situation. Here's Josue. I don't know how to make uh, any pastry, any cake, uh, but I'm very good at eating them. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> and poor little Holly, who is going to wait here, aren't you? Hey there. 
il grano, quel grano là si mette, si mette a bagno la, la sera prima, lascia tutta la notte, che il, il grano si, si apre e la mattina trovo questo risultato. Naturalmente eh, ne tolgo l'acqua che è in eccesso. E quindi questo grano qua poi dopo lo devi mischiare con altri ingredienti. Eh, e poi in modo che c'è... Uh, e uh, uova uova intere e turni d'uovo arancio candito e il fiore d'arancio questo è il profumo che praticamente è un olio essenziale è un olio essenziale di fiore d'arancio cioè se lo annunzi e fai diritto la Roma mamma mia che buono Allora, dobbiamo sette strisce, si inizia a si mettere prima quattro strisce. Quattro strisce. Poi si collegano una al centro e una al centro. the finished passiera waiting to be eaten up and of course you can also have just a slice with your morning coffee let's go for a little walk on the beach while the pastiera are cooking so a few people around
it. Have a secret. Okay. I have a present for you. Ooh, la pastiera. So now we get to try the. Uh, no, <laughs> I know you have a little treat too. The pastiera that Josué made. This is one that he made earlier. <laughs> I'm slowly, slowly walking back up again. It's quite hot. I'm carrying my cardigan and the cake. Just bumped into one of Carla's uncles who was struggling a bit with his shopping. So I'm carrying it up for him. Sort of wish I hadn't offered now, it's pretty heavy. Hello everywhere. I had to call him to come and take his uncle's bag because I'm going a different way from his uncle. So Carla's going to be in control of the shopping. No, we're going to go merch with her. No. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't want to spend the afternoon in the <laughs> No, I don't want to spend the afternoon in the cemetery. I want to go home and have lunch. Okay. Non ti preoccupare, gliela lascio sulla strada. Carlo's uncle is the famous one who, I don't know if I've showed it before, um, on Christmas Day one year, he had a turkey, a live turkey, and he fell in love with his turkey. Oh. Il famoso uh, tacchino al guinzaglio. Gli altri <laughs> se lo mangiano, lui invece lo porta in and giro. He took it for walks up and down this pathway, and my dad was with us that year at Christmas, and it was so funny, he couldn't believe this guy was taking a turkey for a walk on Christmas Day. Cosa hai fatto prima? Sono andata a vedere la pastiera con Josué. Ok. No, lo dici come se fosse una persona. Sono andata a vedere la pastiera, ci siamo salutati <ride> e poi visto che stavo là me la sono anche mangiata. Vabbè, era così, <ride> sì. Questa è la sveglia che mi dice che avrei dovuto finire la pausa pranzo fra 5 minuti. Ok, you Quindi better go back andare. to work then. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you later. Ciao ciao. ciao.